Hey, what is up, you guys? Edgar Experience here. I'm going to be making a reaction video to a death battle that just came out, uh, Sora vs. Pit. And I've been planning on making a reaction video like this for a while. And right now, I'm going to be joined by Camelo 2 and, uh, and yeah. Evil Boy 04. You guys, oh, Evil King. King. Evil King. King. Yeah, you can check those guys out on Instagram. On, on Instagram or whatever. I'll try to leave a link for you guys there. And y'all ready for this shit? Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, ready. go ahead. This episode of Death Battles brought to you by War Robots, the tactical 6v6 multiplayer game for iOS, Android, and Fire OS. I don't really know about that game. His love for science and my love for weapons had a baby wrapped in rich 3D graphics. My favorite bot is Griffin. Pick up the game and see if you can take us down. Install War Robots now and get a huge starter pack of the Leo Robot, one gang weapon, three Molon weapons, 100 gold, and 400,000 silver. Alright. Freaking uh Sora? I forgot that fool's name already. Sora versus yes, Sora. The fate of the universe no, is at stake. The last person you should trust Screw to save is a old teenager with magical yeah. weapons they don't understand. I miss but it. But everybody does it anyway. Like Sora, Sora. the blade Sora. wielding savior of Kingdom Hearts. And Pit, the angel warrior oh, Sora from, from Kingdom Eagle. Hearts. I don't yeah, even know what Sora is for Pit. I don't know. Yeah, my, my, my dad played that game when he was like my age. Yeah, I played that. I played that game on the Game Boy Advance when I was a little kid. I never Once really knew how to play time, RPG games. Was a small child, My dad said it was a really hard game. Sora. Yeah. And he yeah. lived he, on the one and only he played that game with my mom. Zora and his friends Riku like, and Kairi grew like, up seven, their like, athletic 16, skills 17, by playing sports 15? with Final yeah. Fantasy characters. My age, I think. I don't know. I think. But my dad said he played that game when he was like my age. What the hell are Final Fantasy characters doing there? A hint of things to come. For the longest time, the residents of Destiny Island lived a peaceful life, but it wasn't long until a Why does Destiny Island remind me of freaking Neverland? The island. <laughs> this was the Heartless. But the arrival of these creepy crawlers wasn't the only surprise. Alongside the darkness came light in the form of a keyblade, which is the key to fixing everything. Super subtle. <laughs> this keyblade in particular was known as the Kingdom Key, and was drawn to Sora thanks to his pure heart. With the Kingdom Key, Sora had the means to combat the Heartless. By mm -hmm. unlocking doors? Well, yes, the Keyblade can get past almost any lock out there. But despite not having a long, sharp edge, it's a surprisingly deadly sword. It's a key, it's a sword, and it's also a wand! Sora can use it to cast all sorts of magic spells like a wizard. He can even shoot a laser beam on the way to the moon! Unfortunately, despite his newfound yeah. weapon, the Heartless were overwhelming. The darkness washed over Destiny Island, and just like that, it was gone. Damn. But this thanks to really cosmic happy. reasons, Sora wound up face to face with Goofy and Donald <laughs> Duck. Yep, he ended up in the most magical place on Earth, Disney. If you're confused, don't worry. You are not hallucinating. Somehow, in some way, this impossibility exists. Turns out, while Goofy and Donald have been lovable cartoons for decades, they're also world-hopping warriors. What? Oh my god, this is the best thing ever! From then on, Sora teamed up with his new friends to lock the doors to the Hearts the of Worlds, time. saving them from the Heartless <laughs> Grip. And he wasn't even old enough to get a driver's license. While Sora may not have been strong enough to save Destiny Island, he quickly learned an enormous amount of talents perfect for beating back the darkness. Including some genuine ass-kicking magic, like shooting fireballs, freezing baddies with blizzards, smiting with lightning, and more! He can reflect projectiles, manipulate time, magnetize objects, and even alter gravity. He's got a bunch of other magic attacks, but my favorite is Ragnarok, which fires a bunch of homing energy beams. Ragnarok. And I guess he's got some magic abilities that don't involve beating monsters up, which I think is pretty lame, but Gwiz insists we talk about it. Thanks to the Kingdom Key Sword, he can use spells which remove negative effects, including curing his own wounds. Really? He can also glide like Peter Pan and teleport like Figment. I still don't know if we should call it a sword. But Sora can make it even better with keychains. They can even transform the whole Keyblade into more powerful versions with way more badass names, like Oathkeeper. With all these what? abilities, Sora battled the Heartless and took the fight to the man who discovered them, Xanort. He even defeated Xanort's Heartless and his nobody. Oh, that's kind of harsh, Wiz. Why are you calling him a nobody? He 
Definitely somebody. No, see, a nobody is a somebody without a heart. Guy looked like a Big Boss from somebody or a nobody. Solid Snake. Well, they may have been a yeah. somebody filled with anger. That fool reminded me of the guy from Final Fantasy. Well, I'm a somebody no, that's really, really good. Really like confused. Scar. Yeah. But to save all worlds, yeah. Sora found he had to Scar be insanely face. strong, fast, Scar and tough. Face. He's speedy enough to run up a building and quick enough to dodge magic lightning. Not just magic lightning. Real legitimate lightning from That's the sky. Aerosol, right? Which could only take Aerosol. near oh, milliseconds. Oh, so Sora put all that speed to good use once money. by perfectly blocking hundreds of lasers from damn near every angle in just a few seconds. So it's safe to say he's no slouch. As for his yeah. strength, not only has he cut through giant building-like structures with ease, he's launched them as projectiles. Though gravity is in flux here, a building this size normally weighs around 100,000 pounds. Uh -huh. He's held back two of Cerberus' heads and went toe-to-toe -to -toe with Hercules. You know, the demigod who threw a giant rock monster into space? Although this titan's shape is too inconsistent to scale, by treating him as a series of cones made of granite, we can estimate his weight as over 1,600 tons. That's like throwing 200 T-Rexes into the sky! So, yeah, Herc is really, really strong, and Sora can take a hit from him, no problem! Honestly, Sora's ability to take a hit might be one of his strongest characteristics. Really? He survived the jaws of Cerberus, ancient Chinese dragons, being shot by a musket, and, hell, the fires of Hades. But he isn't without his downfalls. While he's strong in his own right, he relies a lot on his friends. Like, all the goddamn time. He can't even enter his fancy drive forms, which boost his power and give him an extra keyblade, without help from Goofy and Donald. So, in a broad scope, he's fairly limited on his own. No big deal, though. Luckily for Sora, most blocks only Speaking of Kingdom one Hearts, key. there's a new Kingdom uh -huh. Hearts yeah. game coming. Not sure if that was I was thinking about that. Like, it was dropping on PS4, stupid. wasn't it? I think so. Uh, they... The heart may be weak, and sometimes it may even give in. Is some Toy Story gonna be in this? What? But I've learned that deep down there's yep. a light that never yeah. goes out. Wow. That yeah. bad. Yeah, the release date of the new Kingdom Hearts game hasn't been announced yet, but they will announce in E3, I think. I think it was E3. Yeah. How long ago was this? Uh, 25 years ago. What? <laughs> anyway, the Kingdom of Angel Land was ruled by two goddesses. Palutena, the goddess of light, and Medusa, the goddess of darkness. Who well, pretty much treated everyone like crap by turning people into statues and destroying their crops. Oh. Ah, my God, my but hey, Dang. what'd you expect from a being who holds the title Goddess of Darkness? Just doing her job. Angered by these misdeeds, Palutena transformed Medusa into an ugly, one-eyed, parcel-tongued monster and banished her to the dark underworld. Talk about throwing oh, shade. Long story short, okay. Medusa waged war with Palutena, who summoned the greatest hero Angel Land has ever known. Hit. My arrows will stop that, Apricus Maximus. No, 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 definitely not that one. This one. Uh, hang on. Greatest hero ever? More like his mom needs to drop him off at elementary school. Don't let looks fool you. Pitt may seem young, but he is the captain of the Icarus army. Keepers of the peace and personal guards to Lady Palutina herself. Wait, you're telling me this Cupid-looking kid is the captain of an army? Well, at least he can fly with those wings. Alright, that's pretty cool. Actually, he can't. What? Look, he's flying right there! <laughs> well, Pitt may have superhuman abilities, but he can't actually fly on his own. Thankfully, Palutina regularly grants him mystic wings, which do allow flight, though they can only exist for up to five minutes. After that, they burst into flame, sending Pitt careening to a horrible end. Holy shit! So the Damn. captain of an angel army doesn't have his own working angel wing. That's what you're telling me? Yeah, it's a little strange, but don't try to bring it up. He's a bit touchy on the subject. Anyway, <laughs> Pitt managed to defeat Medusa, and everyone lived happily ever after. Just kidding, Medusa came back 25 years later, looking better than ever, by the way. And this time, Hades came along to mess things up, too. As captain of the Icarus army, Pitt has some extensive training under his belt. How else would all these soldiers save Palutena from a sudden invasion of... Vegetables? Uh, right. But Every little a kid's not without his weapons. <laughs> Pitt's got a huge arsenal yeah. of weaponry. He's well known for his <laughs> archery skills and shows it off with his trusty weapon of choice, the Palutena bow. 
This bow uses awesome laser Yeah, we all seen Smash Bros. Brawl. That's the only way you're gonna know about that bow. He is highly skilled with several classes of weapons. His arsenal has been imbued with the strength and power of the gods, making humans incapable of wielding them. These range from orbitars, like floaty shoulder cannons that can also block attacks, to blades, cannons, claws, hammers, staves, clubs, and weaponized tattoos. God damn. Oh, I wish my tattoo was a weapon. Wow. Uh, anyway, all these weapons were forged by Mentos, the god of forge. Dentos. Dentos, the fresh maker. And the guy who also crafted and picked ultimate okay. wins the three okay. sacred okay. treasures. Hidden away in three sealed caskets, um, the sacred treasures consist of Angel Land's mightiest weapons, which can only be used by the most heroic and worthy of heroes. The mirror shield reflects projectiles. The wings of Pegasus give Pit unrestricted flight and improved speed. And the arrow of light is the ultimate weapon of the gods that can murder basically anything. <laughs> the arrow of light is absolutely the deadliest weapon in Pit's arsenal and increases in power based on Pitt's own health and strength. And when all three treasures come together, Pitt is granted the legendary silver armor. Uh, and you uh, tapping into my stash of booze, Wiz? That's not silver, it's gold. Well, colors are different in heaven, I guess. Weird. Well, Pitt's learned Weird. several abilities throughout his adventures, like healing, dropping mines, and making his arrows Wasn't invisible. That in the 3DS game? And all of his skills came in handy. I don't know. Not only did he defeat I really, Medusa, I don't but really he's taken on alien pirates, the space kraken, and the god of I'm death, hyped for that battle since I story shipped the 3DS game. At one point when Thanatos though. attacked a village, he launched a large boulder which Pitt obliterated so thoroughly it was completely <laughs> pulverized in mid-air. Oh, wait a minute, how are those Trojan horse Star Wars walkie thingies not tipping over? Focus, Boomstick. <laughs> Pulverization is defined as reducing an object to dust, which certainly applies here. To determine the force necessary to do so, we first need the size of Using boulder. the power of math. We'll compare the boulder to those pillars. Oh, uh, here comes the math. Strap on your pocket protectors, nerds. Thanatos, when standing near a pit, appears to be about 11 feet 6 inches tall. By comparing his height to the pillars, we've determined them to be 18 feet tall. By comparing that to the boulder, it's clear it has a diameter of 115 inches. To pulverize a stone this large, Pit Strike must have outputted energy equal to nearly 1,600 pounds of TNT. Damn! Little angel kid can dish it out! Pit's also <laughs> incredibly quick. He was able to maneuver, react, and fly from the top of these clouds to the Lunar Sanctum in less than 40 seconds. Despite wow. looking like one, that's no moon. It's a space station, orbiting the Earth at a similar altitude to the International Space Station. The average distance from the ISS to the highest cloud layers is about 242 miles, meaning Pit must have flown around 21,600 miles per hour. That's Mach 28! Suck 28. It, Man. Not only that, Pitt dodged a laser which covered this distance in a fraction of a second, most likely moving a little over 90 million miles per hour. Oh my god, that not moon thing really is the Death Star. With Pitt's superhuman durability, he's tanked hits from gods and taken falls that would turn any normal man into... An angel? Well, a dead man, yes. In his <laughs> final game with Hades, the god of the underworld. Pitt took a devastating blow that sent him plummeting at least 2,000 feet. Given Pitt's weight, the impact of that fall would be over 8 tons of force. And he was fine! This Hades guy can cut through giant so that's like 1600 so a hit from him pounds. could be as powerful as nearly 30 tons of TNT. Of course, while Pitt may be formidable, he's not perfect. He has been tricked into losing fights multiple times, and often relies on assistance from his godly allies. But this kick-ass angel isn't afraid to charge headfirst into a fight, even with his wings on fire. In the name of the goddess Palatina, defender of all that is good, those who hide in the darkness are made to face the light. What? All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, all this talk about slicing vegetables has got me craving some heavenly food. Of course, that's why they mentioned the vegetables. Blue apron. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of want to try blue apron. Yeah. I kind of want to try blue apron. Apron. Yeah. It looks good. I mean, look at that. Yeah, that's a good thing. Yeah, plus they give you like um healthy foods that actually taste good. Yeah. 
This is gonna be too deep. This is gonna be too deep. Damn it. Yeah, but he can only keep his wish for like five minutes. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Who do y'all think is going to win, though? I'm going to say the wings are bad. Pick? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of go for Pick. But that motherfucker can take punches from Hercules. So, bro. Like, that's kind of like a... That's what I don't understand. He is fast enough to run up top of building. Damn. Oh. Damn. Almost he got it. Whoa! You can teleport? Mind blown. Let's see what you think of this. He can, dodge, he can dodge lasers that are coming like hella fast, so. Damn. Like that book from um, Marvel's Capcom 3. Yeah. I was about to say Marvel Combat. I'm like, damn. I heard Marvel owns DC now. Really? Yeah. I heard DC went bankrupt. Are you fucking kidding me? He the free. He just he did those skills like eleven, Stranger Things. Like I was like, also oh, good. Wow. These guys are too good. Oh shit. I swear God, Pit's gonna win. And of course they have to do that Dragon Ball shit. Oh shit. Mm. Oh. Ooh. Okay, I was completely wrong. Superior healing techniques. Hey, remember that building Sora cut through? Slicing up like Swiss 
cheese was impressive enough, but this building was completely made of stone from top to bottom, and Sora cut through seven at once. These buildings may have been composed of a modest stone like granite, which has a minimum shearing strength of 14 megapascals. In comparison to Sora's height, each building was about 23 feet tall. By measuring Sora's largest slash and the distance cut through all seven buildings, we can determine Sora's striking energy to equal, at minimum, 78 tons of TNT. That's way more than Pitt's boulder pulverizing feet. No wonder this guy beat Herc. Speaking of which, let's compare some of the strongest beings Sora and Pitt have taken hits from. The amount of energy needed for Hercules to throw that rock titan into space had to have been around 24 megatons of TNT, whereas Hades strikes were equivalent to only 30 tons at best. So Pitt had never survived anything close to Sora's strongest attacks. Just by numbers alone, Sora's strength, speed, and durability just outclassed Pitt. And the Keyblade by itself had a way more impressive track record than any of Pitt's weapons. You might say it was the key to this fight. And when we pit them together, one of them was bound to be a Sora loser. The winner is Sora. Who's next? Thanks for watching. Check out the exclusive. Please let me someone good this time. Honestly. Yeah. And thanks to McLeod Gaming for letting us use their sprites in this battle. You can check out their latest game and the music used in the battle in the links in the description. Frank West versus Frank Pitt. West. Oh my God! I'm going for Frank West. I'm yeah. sorry. I don't. I don't. I don't really play that. Well, I play. I like Resident Evil. I like Resident Evil. I never played the first one. I've never from played any I, of them. I've from, never played any of them. I played the the fourth one a little bit, and I played the fifth one, and right. I never played the new one, the bio, the the seventh. I never played the seventh one or the sixth right. one. But I by did Dead play, Rising, he's played every single one of them. I've played Dead Rising. I played Dead Rising one. I first played it on the Xbox 360. I have it for the PS4. The PS4 is for remastered. Yeah. I play. I've passed that game like, like I say, eight times. I think. So like. I played Dead Rising 2 and Dead Rising 2 off the record. Did not play the third one because, of course, it's not for PS4. I play PlayStation games. I don't play Xbox games. I just play right. PlayStation games, and I never played the fourth one. They, so, it, it came out for PlayStation 4, but it's like a like an ultimate edition. Yeah. Game. So, like, here's the thing, though. Like, um, I feel like Frank is going to win this one because, like, um... If you've seen the fourth game, like the final boss in the fourth game, he beats the shell of, uh, uh I hope it's 3D. Yeah, I, I think I it's gonna it, be 3D. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it has to be. And I hope they use the old school Frank, like like yeah, the yeah. first one. Yeah. They better, I, I, I don't really like the, the new the new school Frank. Yeah. Like here's the thing though, Frank West was able to beat the shit out of like a zombie, like a like a zombie that was like smart or whatever. In an exosuit. And he was able to like keep up with it, like even before he was able to get his hands on one. And Frank has been defeating psychopaths for Christ's sakes. I know, and he can make all sorts of shit and like weapons. He's defeated every psychopath in the game. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like I feel like Frank West is gonna is gonna win this one. I hope Frank West wins. Yeah. All right. So you guys, I'm gonna end off this video right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. And peace out, everybody. Peace.